We are Precision Way and Balances and we're an authorized My Way dealer. In this video we are going to show you the parts toning function and we'll be using the My Way i1200 version 2. You can order the i1200 from our website balances.com. The i1200 has the parts toning feature and will walk you through the steps. Since the i1200 increments in a tenth of a gram increment, um, we recommend the lightest part be at least uh, four divisions. So if it increments in a tenth of a gram division, your lightest part should be uh, no lighter than 0.4 grams. If your part's lighter than this, you're not going to get consistent counts. You have to have a scale that is more sensitive. So there is the My Way I-201, which is 200 by a hundredth of a gram. So to get into the parts carding mode, right now we are in the weighing mode. So you can see a 200 gram weight, it says grams. So to get into the parts carding mode, one simply presses the mode key. And you'll see here in the lower left hand corner, it says G. Press the M key. We go through all the way modes, and at the very end, there's PCS in the lower right hand corner. So you should be able to see PCS in the lower right hand corner. And once we're in the parts counting mode, we can start the piece weight. So, what you want to do now is select the P button or piece and um, once you selected this if you're going to use a weighing container instead of picking the parts off the platform so for example we're going to weigh paper clips instead of picking each one of these off let's use a container so what you would do is you put your container on and we want to zero out that weight so we would hit the Z key. And now we've zeroed out the value and you will see in the upper right hand corner it does say zero on the display. So that weight of the container will not be used. You can see where it says zero right there. So now that we've zeroed out the container we want to put our sample size on. So P is equal to 10. Since we're doing paper clips, they're pretty light. They're about 4 tenths of a gram. We want to increase the sample size. So if you press the M key, the, it goes to 20. And then your other choice is 50 or 100. So again, we're going to use 20 as a sample size. So I've already weighed out 20 paper clips. I'm going to put them into our container. Once I have the 20 there and I have a stable in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to press the P key or PCS and you'll see it says pass and then it stored the value. So I'm going to take this 20, this sample of 20 off. My container goes back on and I've already counted out some paper clips just to see so here's a box of Staples paper clips, and I hand counted out 100 pieces. So here's 100 pieces. And you'll see, the scale's right on the money. And if I remove one paper clip, I remove a second paper clip, I remove a third paper clip, I remove a fourth. And now let's add it. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four. So there's our 100 paper clips. And you can see the response time there. So I also have another box of paper clips here that I've counted out 50 pieces. Just to show you. I put it on the scale and again you can see how fast and easy it is to count paper clips 
And again, I would not recommend um, anything lighter than the weight of a paper clip for the I-1200, uh, I-500, I-2600, or 5500. Um, so another example I can give you for weighing would be uh, business cards. And so we're still in the parts counting mode. This time I want to zero out the scale. And we're going to select, since business cards are a little bit heavier, we'll select a sample size of 10. So again, I press the P. The default is 10. I'm going to weigh out 10 business cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The ten business cards are on the platform in the upper left hand corner. You can see we have a stable reading. So in the upper left hand corner it says STAB, that's the stability indicator. Once we have that, we're gonna press the M, uh, we'll press the piece and you'll see it says pass and now it has stored the value for 10 business cards. And if I remove one business card, two business cards, three business cards, and you see the number goes high because I'm, I'm my hand's touching the platform. So add and wait, but as we remove it. So put them back on. There's my sample of 10 again. Now let's remove those 10 business cards from the platform. And here's a stack that I counted out prior to making this video of 50 business cards. And I put it on and you can see counting business cards works very well. So those are business cards for counting. Now let's try something a little bit uh, different this time. Someone had sent us a pile of blister packs and they wanted to count them. And so I'll show you how you can do that with the I-1200 and we're going to use a nice large container and we're going to tear it out. So we're first going to put our container on and you can see it's a big container. So the first thing we want to do is we want to zero out that container. So we're going to press the Z key and it's going to tear out the weight of the container. So now the container has been teared out and if you even look at the display up here at the top it shows T-A-R. So it's been teared out. Okay, so the container's been teared. Now what we want to do is we want to add onto the platform our sample. And so this time these are blister packs, as you can see. These are blister packs. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a sample size of 10 on. So what we want to do is we want to press the P key. Sample is 10. We're now going to place 10 that I've counted already on the platform. Well, let's just throw them in one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's our 10 blister packs. And what we do is we're going to press the P key here and you're going to see the display show pass when it stores the value. So now the scale has stored the average piece weight for these 10 blister packs. And so now what I'm going to do is remove one blister pack and you'll see the scale picks up the weight. Remove another, remove another, and now we'll just remove them all. And so I have stats of 10, and I want to just put them in the container. Now you don't have to be this neat, but I'm trying to be this neat so you can see how the scale 
King Tom blister pads. So there's a stack of 10 right there. Here's another stack of 10. Here's another stack of 10. And you can see, even when these blister pads are in this large container, the scale was counting it right on the money. So there's another 10. There's another 10. And one more. Okay, so now we have 60 uh, blister pats on the scale and the I-1200 has counted it with no problem whatsoever. One more feature I want to show you is let's remove everything off the scale and we're going to power down the scale. So when the scale is powered down all together we are now going to turn the scale back on. It's going to go through the power-up sequence. And the scale displays the last mode that was used, which is, as you can see, it's in the PCS mode. So we have PCS right down here in the lower right-hand corner. So now, what I wanted to show you, which is great compared to other scales, the my way is actually stored the value, the last value that we used. So remember those blister paths? This time we're not going to use a container. And if we throw one on, we throw two on, we throw three on, we throw four on, we throw five on, we throw six on, we throw seven on. So again, very simple, uh, great feature, and this is the parts turning mode. We are Precision Way and Balances. You can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. Please consider subscribing to our channel. You'll be notified when we have new videos. If you like this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. We have several other videos on the My Way I series. So please go to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video.